Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine and having fun. Today I am going to share a special project which is named as Automatic Street Light Project, which is designed in Proteus ISIS. This project is given on this link for download. The link of this post is given in the description of this YouTube video. When you click on that link, you will come to this page on our blog, the Automatic Street Light Project in Proteus. In this project, I have designed a special project which is very simple and in this project, the street light will automatically go on at night and will go off at day. You must have examined this scenario in your daily routine that uh, the lights on your street just goes on when it's night and they just went off when it's day. So, the, this project is working on the same principle and uh, we have designed a simple uh, schematic in which there is an LDR sensor which is detecting the sunlight. So when this sensor detects the sunlight, then it gives a signal at the output. And uh, when we get the signal, we simply turn on the turn off the LED light. I have also given the simulation, the Proteus simulation. Uh, on this link for download, which you can download quite easily from here. And if you want to read more about the LDR sensor, then you can also read this article how to use LDR sensor in Proteus ISIS. <coughs> anyway, the simulation looks something like this. Let me make it down. Something like this. And because Proteus has two LDR sensors, that's why I have designed two schematics so that I can use both of these sensors. <coughs> when you download this simulation, you will get two files in it. Let me open the first file. Here you can see I have used the two LDR sensors. These, both of these sensors are available in Proteus. So I have designed small schematics for both of them so that you can get a better understanding of how it works. <coughs> so here you can see when the LDR sensor is detecting the light, our LED is on, both of our LEDs. Now let me turn off the light. So you can see there is no light on the LDR sensor and the LED goes off. Similarly here, if I remove the light, then our LED goes off. So that's how this small schematic is working. But in street lights, when there's no light, then the li street light comes on. It's opposite to this scenario. So right now you can see there's no light on the LDR sensor, means it's a night time. So the LED should go on, but in this case, it's off right now. So what we need to do is, we need to switch this logic and we have to make this LED on when there is no light. Means at night the street light should go on. More on, this signal is of 5 volt. But normally the street lamps are of either 220 volt AC or if there is an LED, that is a DC LED, then it will be of something like 23 volt or 12 volt. So I have used a relay circuit which is given in this second schematic. <coughs> here you can see, here I have used the same circuit which I have used in the previous simulation, but I have added a 12 volt, uh, I have added a relay, 12 volt relay, and I have placed a lamp in front of this relay. Moreover, I have used optocoupler which is giving the signal to this relay, and uh, this is also given, uh, I have already explained this uh, relay, uh, relay circuit in one of my previous tutorials, which I will, I have given the link on the post as well. Anyway, now, when I run this simulation, you can see, there is no light on the LDR, means it's a night time and our lamp is on. <coughs> now, I bring light to this LDR means it's a daytime then our lamp goes off and you can see the relay here is 
of now and if I again move this sensor back then lamp goes on again and I am getting the input from here to this auto coupler so it kind of I am inverting the logic as well as I am providing it to work on any load you can apply here to 20 volt as well so that's all for today subscribe our youtube channel and also like our page thanks for watching take care bye bye